Wow, it is Rose Bowl time again. We're back at the Rose Bowl flea market. It's the second Sunday of the month. I don't know why we're so unlucky with weather when it comes to the Rose Bowl because it's supposed to rain. It's not even seven. We've gotten to like 10 before we run into rain problems. I hope that you guys are watching this on Thursday because that means that I found something to flip. So my goal with this trip to the Rose Bowl is to find a flea market flip two to three items that I find that we can turn into something amazing for home decor. So I will see you guys inside. You beat me. Did you buy me a ticket? I did. You're welcome, cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> so I'm kind of looking for some wall art or something to turn into a piece of wall art. I feel like that's a thrift flip and a flea market flip that I haven't really done yet. So hopefully we can find something like that today and also maybe a pendant light. So I'm just gonna kind of walk around and kind of let you guys shop with me um, and see what we can find. Ooh, wow, pretty baskets. I feel like I can do something really cool with these. I made some pillows out of these mud cloths one time and they came out really good, the black and the white, but the brown is also really pretty. It's like very rich. Yeah, your hats are beautiful. Such a pretty color. I'm pretty sure this is my favorite color. So these are products that are made in southern Chile. They come from the island of Chiloé. They're made out of a Formium 10X plant, uh, which we call New Zealand flax and they're woven by women in their homes. They use it to supplement their income. These are made out of a bromeliad plant. It's a Gregia lanbeckii is the scientific name. And these are made a, a, about three hours north of the island on the coast by Mapuche uh, families. They make them traditionally. And you know this how is long the, something like that would take to, for them to make? So it's a process because they have to go out and they have to get the plants. Right. They cure it. They strip it, they make the cordage, and then they weave it. Wow. They work in the winter time because it's very rainy. And, and then in the summer, people come and they sell to the markets. And She was so sweet. I was telling her that I really wanted to start a series on my channel where I travel to countries around the world, similar to what I did in the Philippines, and I find local artists, um, local handmade products that the specific town or country is known for, stepping away from the overproduced and manufactured items and really spreading awareness about them. So I was telling her about that, and she had amazing amazing products so I'll link her store check her out so let's find something to flip I am determined Something like this would be really cool to do like a piece of wall art on. Obviously it's kind of straightforward. It would just be like kind of like a woven piece, but it's a really cool size. How much is this one you're asking? And what about the, you have like a smaller kind of door looking one there. I do 25 25? I'll think about that, thank you. So she said she wanted 35 for that fence. I'm looking for the most $20 because for that type of wall art, I'm gonna have to invest a lot in all of the yarn or things that I'm gonna be putting on it. So it could get really expensive. 
for offense. Little bitty espresso tea? What are you? Oh, this is really pretty. Holy gold trunk. It's kind of cool. I love this color couch. If it had different legs. If it had like more modern legs, that'd be so cool. These would be cool shelves. But they're so rusted. They have to be redone and hung, but they're pretty cool. So much bronze. Could have every animal. They might have every animal of bronze. Oh my gosh. Ooh, a dolphin and the seal. The seal is so cute. Look at the giraffe. So cute. Imagine like in a little nursery, like with some animals on a shelf. It'd be so cute. You guys know I'm always sucker for stopping to look at pottery. Always, I don't know. I definitely don't need any more pottery, but I still like to look. You guys, I've got to stay away from baskets. I have too many basket woven items. I love all this live edge wooden furniture. So that's what it means when it has like a raw live like the edge of the tree on the side, so it's called Live Edge, and they're so pretty. I definitely think some of the vendors were a little scared to come out because it was supposed to rain, but I mean, look at this guy. It's fine right now, but it is only like 8.30, uh, but it is a little empty. Oh. I've seen a look recently that I kind of wanted to try. It's basically taking a rug like this and then over dyeing it a specific color, like a really vibrant yellow or a pink or a blue um, and making it kind of a little more trendy. It could be cool to find one for the right price. How much is like this size? 40. 40, oh, this size is all 40. Yeah, I like this one, but I was kind of looking for something a little more Patterned. This one's cotton. It'll take the dye really well. Maybe we could pattern it. Maybe we could paint on it. I think I might do this natural one. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You too. Oh, yay. Okay, we found something. I think maybe I could dye it, make it patterned, and then put it in a bathroom makeover that I'm doing. I think it might look really good. I hope it's not too wide. I think that would be the only problem, um, but I could totally find a pace for that if we make it less boring, if that makes sense. Guys, I'm still looking for my weird plant. Is this my mini tree I'm looking for? What is this tree? Over dying just like that. See how vibrant those blues are underneath the one he just rolled out? Always love to look at the rugs. They're all so pretty. They're expensive. Holy cow. This is all beaded. Can you imagine how long that took someone to do for a not so cute chair, I have to admit. Look how gorgeous. Ooh, you could be a pendant light. You could be such a cool pendant light for a farmhouse style house. Ooh, yes. Over a kitchen island. Oh my gosh, tell me why this looks like pasta noodles. Ew, that's so weird. Sometimes you just find the weirdest things. Coins on a toilet bowl cover. But these big forks and spoons would be cool in like a kitchen. Again, farmhousey kitchen. They'd be cool black. This could be a cool piece of wall art, like, and get all the rust off. I'll take him for me. I think I'm gonna turn it into like a wall art thing. Like sand it and paint it and then hang some like yarn on it. Thank you. This is kind of a cool piece. It could even be cool as like a 
a chandelier thing like hanging uh, but I make a lot of pendant lights so I'm thinking of doing do a wall art either straight or this way and then hang some really pretty yarn on it maybe in a specific design and flip it oh my gosh they look scared this one would be really pretty dyed because it has that subtle pattern and it's probably expensive, but it's very pretty. How much is this white three by five? Hey, 150. 150? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so that is a wrap on the Rose Bowl. Not a lot of vendors out, but we did find those two things, the rug and the metal piece that I don't really know what it is. But the rug, I'm kind of realizing that I kind of overpaid $20 for a cotton rug but negotiating wasn't really um, at the top of my mind for some reason. I blame it on only having two hours of sleep. But I'm really excited to flip those two pieces that I did find and turn them into something really cool for maybe a project that's coming up. Um, so I will see you guys in a couple of days for a flea market flip video. Bye guys.